Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to go ahead and finish up my little max. Um, today we're going to be installing everything you see right here. We're going to do the steel axles, the wheel hubs, of course the nose. So, just real quick, I walk, uh, my friend of mine, Jeff, we just did um, a wide max kit and some new axles on his orange truck. There he is guys. He's all finished up. He's ready to go. I hope he enjoys his truck. It's going to be a lot more stable now. It's not going to want to turn over and flip so much. Good looking truck, right? And he was like, order me the steel axles. And I'm like, man, you don't need the steel axles. He's like, you don't? I'm like, no, man. I mean, we've had ours for a long, long time. And I only had issues whenever the outside bearing comes apart and locks up. And what I think or what I thought was happening was that bearing would seize up, you know, and lock. So this would lock up and this would twist, you know, keep twisting because of motor power. And, of course, it would just break off, right? So I thought that's what was happening. I thought it was just because I wasn't taking care of the bearings. Because, you know, we own a lot of trucks and... I'm not gonna lie, I get done running, but they're working. They throw them in the shed and call it good, you know, and worry about it later. And uh, so I thought the bearings were just locking up, and it was just, you know, I needed to pull the bearings out more often, pop the caps off, lube them, and, and whatnot. But now, the more that I've been running the Max trucks, I'm starting to realize that I'm showing my wife's truck. So this is the right rear. You see, it's tight, but look at her left rear. And the wheel nut is not loose. The axle itself is. It's worn out. Let me just take this tire off real quick and I'll show you guys what I'm saying. We got home from the skate park. Or we got home from this uh, big park here today. They have a skate park and they have a walking trail and a BMX track and all that stuff. We're playing and I broke one of these and I'll show you the video real quick. Oh, she's hurt. Oh. Yeah, there it is. The limb caught it. Oh, we got ourselves another outer. So I'm here at the little skate park, BMX track, whatever. Only thing we've ever broken on these, like I mentioned before, was the outer, and I, we popped another one. And so like I said before, the bearing locks up. That bearing is gone. It locked up, what it did, and it just seized in there, and well, the motor wanted to keep going, so I twisted it off. So yeah, that broke that one off, and had to chase the tire down. And uh, when I got back to the truck, I noticed one of the wheels was wobbling. And you see how it's, really loose there in the bearing. I thought it was a bearing again. I'm like, oh, there it is, the bearing's going bad. Well, I pulled it down and it's not the bearing. The axle itself, the plastic is just worn out. So what happens is where that little pin goes through there, that, you know, that little universal, um, you know, you can't rebuild that. It wears out and eventually it just breaks. So I told Jeff he didn't really need to upgrade, but he doesn't run his trucks a whole, whole lot. I run my trucks a lot, like, you know, I work eight, ten hours a day, and usually for lunch break, I'll go out, I'll rest my eyes because I have bad eyes, and I'll run a truck 30, 45 minutes, eat a sandwich, go back to work, and I'll try to run them for another 30 minutes after work. So, I mean, they get run every day, just about, you know, I mean, one, one of my vehicles gets run every day, which a lot of people might not run that often. It's a weekend thing, or they run them, and then for a month, they don't touch them. These get run. That's why this, my X-Max bodies look like that. You know, this it doesn't take too, too long to, to end up that way. So, just put a new one on my X-Max. But uh, anyway, so long story short, I'm going to go ahead and try the steel axles. I didn't really want to upgrade to them. I've had my other Max trucks for over a year. And I've only broken like two outers, you know, two stub shafts. I didn't want to upgrade to this. And I told Jeff, my reasoning was you're adding more weight to it. And then the drive cups, if you're familiar with the Revo and the X-Max, the drive cups wear out. I thought I had a drive cup here, but I guess it got thrown away. I usually keep all that stuff just so I can show you guys stuff like this and whatever. But anyway, the drive cups wear out. And then, I mean, they're metal axles. I have bent these on my X-Max before from really, really hard corner landings. I mean, the plastic ones aren't going to bend. They're going to bow and they're going to go back into their actual shape or their normal shape. So I'm going to try it and see what happens, see if they last longer, see if I like them and all that good stuff. I do like the fact that I'm going to get actual you know, metal or aluminum wheel nuts and get rid of these funny looking little center caps, hub caps, whatever you want to call them. Okay, so that's that. I hope that kind of explains a few things to you guys. And then this pin kit, they're smooth pins, and you'll see when I open them. There's no threads, they don't screw in. You pull your stock pin out, you screw it out, you slide this in, and then you capture it with that little retainer, just like you do an X Max, or just like you did, just like we did in the uh, aluminum knuckle video where we put the aluminum uh, caster blocks and steering knuckles on. So those are going to be pretty cool because they're not going to just back out. And here's a picture of one of my steering knuckles that we replaced on an old truck. And see how it knocked that corner out right there? Because I think what happens is that caster block spreads a little bit from impact and it allows it to pull out. So, I mean, obviously it was in there when it busted out of the side. But a lot of times 
you'll pull that pin out and this is fine, it's, it's untouched. And I think it's because it's spreading and just letting it come apart. So we did the caster block upgrade. I don't know if you guys saw that one. They're in there, you can see the blue behind the wheels. We did the steering knuckles. Now we're gonna do the axles. And I haven't really broke anything on the back end before. So I'm gonna put these in and then we're gonna go run today, guys. So let's get, let's get going on this. So let's go ahead and take his shirt off real quick. And let's get these axles put in. And now you guys, if you haven't seen you know, my previous videos to this, we've already been through the entire back, we've already been through the entire front, we've done a complete teardown, we did a complete wide max, we did steering knuckles, we did shocks, we've done tie rods, we've done caster blocks, we've done inner, outer axles, we've done it all. So we have been through front and back. If you haven't seen that, check my uh, description. If I remember, I'll put the link in there. If not, just go to my max playlist and look for the video that you want to see. If you want to know how to do the A-arms, look for that. They're labeled A-arms, axles, you know, and whatnot. So what I'm gonna, what I'm saying is, I'm gonna make this a little quicker because this could be a pretty lengthy job on camera. So I'm gonna go a little quicker than I normally would. But again, like I always said, this is in a step-by-step -step library, so it's gonna be step-by-step. -step. Maybe a little bit faster. That's enough talking, guys. Um, let's get to it because I want to take this guy out and play. It is nine o'clock in the morning. I should be done the video by 11, uh, and then uh, I'm just going to go out and play, and I will edit this later. So, you guys know how to pull tires off. I'm going to do that. I'll be right back. Okay, let's go ahead and pull this knuckle off just real fast here. So, we're going to go ahead and grab our two and a half and our two millimeter. That's what we're going to do. Lower pin, upper pin, tie rod. Okay, now these pins, if you're going to replace these, you're not going to use them. These are going to go into our spares. Tie rod screw will be reused. It's just going to go right up there. Okay, this is ready to come off. We are going to remove our wheel hex. Wheel hex and pin goes there. We'll go ahead and just pop that right out, our bearing up there. And we'll put this up there, and that's a spare. Alright, so I tried to get away without pulling the front bumper and it took more time trying to figure out how to get to it than actually pulling the front bumper off. So, just pull your front bumper off so you can get to them uh, pins on the on the inners. It'll, it'll just be quicker, trust me. It's three screws, five seconds a piece, and pull up that's frustrating. So we're going to do that and just pull the bumper right off. Now we remove our pin. Now that we can get to it, let's remove our pin. And pull it out the inner axle just like that there's our stock one that'll go in our little max box so let's open up our axles nice shiny new parts first let's grab a drive cup and we will grab our set screws drive cup goes on just like you were putting on the axle so you're gonna have a threaded hole on one side and you're gonna have the smooth the smaller hole on the other side of course the threaded hole needs to face you so that you can drop your set screw in there. So let's get this done. Line up the holes, large threaded hole facing you, and then we'll install our pin. Now we can snug that up. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our bearings now. So here's the new bearings that came with, and these look a lot bigger. So let's see what we got going on here. So, okay, so this bearing is the same OD, but the ID, the inner diameter, see it's got a lot, lot bigger hole to accept a new axle. And then the back one is huge. Here's your stock. Here's your stock bearing, and here's the one that comes in the kit. So I'm guessing, let's take this off here because that bearing is not going to go in there. So let's take this off real fast. Okay, let's pull this apart. Now, okay, so let's go ahead and take this front bearing out because we know that ain't staying. So we'll just push it out from the back. And I'm going to put it over here where we can't mix it up. And we're not going to be able to use it accidentally anyway. It's different. So... Okay, we've got all our new bearings laying here, so let's go ahead and put these in order here. So we got the four large and the four small. Let's check it out. So then our back bearing 
we'll go on this outside most race here, only place it can go. So there you go. Now we got our new bearings in there to accept our new axles. Let's go ahead and put our assembly back together. You can hold it like this here, with the wide, with the wide mount at the bottom, and it goes back in just like that. There. Drop in your pins, retainers, upper retainer, tighten them up. Okay, let's put our axle in. Just like the other axle, it likes to push the front bearing out. Let's try to get this axle in there. Nice, alright. Takes a little persuasion, but it'll pop in there. I, I tell you what, these knuckles, the bearings fit loose. Look at there. It's kind of floating there. Same deal with this. Be sure you get your cross pin through there. You see the holes open? Alright. So now we just put this in. And all we do is line up this dog bone with the drive cup just like you would on a Revo or an X-Max or anything else with a drive cup. Alright guys, let's put this together. So, third longest pin goes in the lower arm. So let's get this thing together. There we go. Now our upper pin, shortest one. followed by a retainer. Now your tie rod. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and put the tire wheel on. And I will do the remaining pins after I get this back together. Let's open up our new wheel hex hubs and our lug nuts. Alright, so we got all these goodies unboxed. So let's go ahead and put them on and get this wheel and tire on. Inside your new kit, you're going to have four new pins and some small set screws. So let's get those out and put those on the table. So go ahead and take your wheel hex hub, line up the holes, install your pin. Get it flush and then put one of your small set screws in the end. These are a two millimeter. There we go. Ooh, that looks so nice. Awesome deal. Go ahead and put our tire wheel back on. All right, we can take that guy out of there. Won't be needing that anymore. And put on your new lug nut. There we go. Looks much better than a little blue cap in there. Well, there we go, guys. Looks a lot like an X Max now. I've got drive cup in there. Got a steel axle. Got all the billet behind the wheel. Can't wait to run this thing. So, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, do the rear, and the rear is gonna be the same exact procedure. You guys are more than welcome to follow along. We still got a lot of parts here to install. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rear, and then uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the front, the other the other side or not. It's gonna be the exact same procedure for you guys, so you guys will have it after that. Let's go ahead and flip this thing around, take a back tire off, and get it going. Okay guys, a little bit faster this time. A little bit faster. We're going to pull off our wheel hex. Pin, wheel hex, just put it in spare parts. Not going to use it. Remove your upper and lower pins. Get rid of those, pull it off. Okay, let's get that back bumper off, make it a little easier to get that set screw on the inner axle out. Now remove your set screw. Remove the pin. Same as the front, put your new drive cup on with the thread facing you. Reinstall the pin.
Okay, let's take our stock bearings out. Get rid of the outer. And now let's put in the new bearings. Grab your new axle and let's put this thing together. Okay, let's go ahead and grab our pins. Fourth longest and third longest. There they are. Line it up in the drive cup. Install wide part at the bottom and insert your pin. Upper pin. Now our wheel hexes. Then our wheel. Followed by the brand new lug nut. One side down guys, one side to go. Let's go ahead and turn it around. And let's attack our other front end. You guys are welcome to tag along or you guys can go on your own and do what you gotta do. Let's get this done. Remove the wheel hex. Those are spares. Remove the tie rod and upper and lower arm pins. Spare. Now we know we can just take that bearing, get rid of it. Take the whole axle and that bearing won't be reused. Get rid of that and we'll set this aside. Remove your inner. More spare parts. Replace that with the drive cup. Now we'll disassemble this. Now let's put in our new bearing. New axle. front bearing. See knuckle? Retainers. Time to reinstall this puppy. Line up the dog bone, slide it into place, tie rod bracket faces back, wide mount to the bottom, match up your pin for length, slide it right into place. Upper pin, match length, slide it into place. Be sure your dog bone doesn't fall out. Just like mine did. Here we go. Now your tie rod. And the set screw. Then you're tired. Three corners down, one to go. Let's knock this rear out real fast, real fast. Upper and lower pins.
wheel hex. All those will go in your spares. Pull the axle out, spare. Push your bearing out, that's a spare. Let's put our new bearing in now. Front bearing. Remove your inner. More spare parts. Reinstall your drive cup. And a new set screw. Let's put our new axle in. Grab our pins. Remember, we can always match up like this. And, and then we reinstall. Put your dog bone in your drive cup. This one here, I'm gonna do the top side first. It's not all the way in just yet. Bottom one. Push it in. This one here may need to be pushed in a little bit. Oh, there it is. Now the wheel hex. Be sure you use the new pins. The new ones are a little bit bigger. One last set screw. Put our wheel back on the neck. Alright guys, so we got the steel axles all installed and everything. It wasn't real bad at all. There was a lot of parts, but everything found its home. Not bad at all. I know you guys want to get, get out of here and get go play, so... Let's go ahead and put this front bumper back on. We got the two screws still in there. We'll have to push down this skid plate just a little bit to get it to get in its home. Go ahead and tighten these up here. There we go. This one here usually doesn't just drop down in there. It always stops right there. But if you'll take and just screw it in, it goes right down. See there? Okay, let's do our back one. Push down that skid plate and be sure this goes all the way in there. That's not right and that's not right. It has to go all the way in like that. It'll either go in or it won't. Okay. We have one more screw to put in on top right there. Push that into place. Put that screw in as far as we can. And run it on down. There we go. That's it. Good to go. We got our steel drive shafts in there. Got the suspension pins put in and everything. Uh, this baby's ready to go. Look at all the stuff that came off that truck. All this came off the truck. You got your whole set of axles, front and rear. You got your four hubcaps. You got your plastic wheel hex. Axles have been upgraded. Your old bearings are now upgraded. Your wheel nuts, all your screw-in pins, and all that good stuff, guys. That's a lot of stuff there that came off the truck. I'm not sure how much of the how much weight difference there is, but I think for what it is, it's going to be stronger. And I'm getting ready to find out here in just about an hour. So. I'm going to put all this stuff in my little Max Tackle Box so that I'll have it with me. Um, and uh, that's it, guys. Uh, I hope you appreciate the video. I'm going to do my very best to get it edited up and get it cleaned up as well uh, as I can. The, the first corner was kind of rough trying to figure things out. Hadn't done it before. This is my first one. So after that, it feels like it went pretty smooth. I uh, hope you guys toughed it out stayed with me through the entire video. I appreciate you guys watching. If you liked it, uh, hit that like button for me. Subscribe. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you want to see. Uh, if you want to see more driving videos, let me know. I did one the other day. I, did, I didn't go out and plan to do it. I just took the trucks out. I grabbed a camera, uh, grabbed my GoPro, and I, I just took some footage. Um, there's a lot of wind in it, but um, if you guys want to see more driving videos, see specific things, I'll get a good mic and uh, go out there and have some fun. Um, anyway, guys, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and get these shocks done. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video.